Hey Mustangs, today for Counselor Thursday, we're going to talk to you about the brain and the science of how it works. I'd listen if I were you, because we're in lab coats. And goggles. We're going to talk to you about three different areas of the brain. The first area that we're going to talk to you about is the prefrontal cortex. The second area is the hippocampus, and the third is the amygdala. This is what each part of the brain does. The prefrontal cortex is the learning, reasoning, and thinking center of the brain. It controls our decision making, focuses our attention, and allows us to learn to read, write, and compute. The hippocampus is the storage and memory of the brain. The amygdala is the part of the brain that reacts to fear, danger, or threat. It is your brain's security guard. Now let's take a closer look at how each of these parts of the brain work together. The amygdala determines our emotional responses by taking in what is going on around us. If our amygdala decides that what is happening is good, it sends that information to the prefrontal cortex and helps form a response. If it decides that what is happening is threatening, it triggers a fight, flight, or freeze response. Now, to help you understand what Mr. Rock said just a little bit more, we're going to use a hand model for the brain. You're going to pretend like your hand is the brain. This part right here is the hippocampus. This part of your thumb is the amygdala. You're going to fold that forward so it can, you're kind of making the number four. Then you're going to wrap your fingers around it. This part right here is the cortex. The part that's in the front is the frontal cortex. It's the part that's right behind your forehead. Now, if your brain is feeling embarrassed, stressed, angry, upset for any reason, the prefrontal cortex freaks out and we call it flipping a lid. Your brain can't learn like this. We're going to watch a little video clip right now about a boy, a mouse, and a cat, and you'll see him flipping his lid. this guy's prefrontal cortex thought that mouse was threatening and his amygdala triggered a flight response. So when something like this happens, what can you do to bring your brain back to normal? There's a lot of ways to bring your brain back, but one way we like is called mindful breathing. When you practice mindful breathing, it is best to put all distractions aside and be as still as possible. You can close your eyes to minimize distractions or soften your gaze and not focus on anything. Breathe through your nose and let your lips and mouth relax. Breathe normally, paying attention to the feeling of the air going in and out of your lungs. If you find your thoughts wandering, return your attention to your breathing. Again, this is one way to bring your brain back, but there are many others that we'll talk about later. We hope that helped Mustangs. Stay tuned for another episode of Counselor Thursday next week.